Side and oh, Tim Burton. Tim Burton. This looks like a character from a Tim Burton film. Absolutely, it does. Nightmare Before Christmas, right there. <laughs> Tim Burton should definitely do okay. a movie about the deep sea. I would watch that. Yeah, I would. Thank you, Mr. Burton. If you're listening, we are available to <laughs> assist. We will definitely uh, suggest some good animals, maybe <laughs> like sea cucumbers and bathysauruses. I don't. I actually haven't seen a Tim Burton movie other than Coraline all the way through. Obviously, I've seen Coraline. <laughs> um, I actually read the book. The reason why is because my mom found it in a bookstore. She came up to me and she was like, oh my God, I found a book with your name on it. <laughs> and I said, mom, this says Coraline. My name is Coralie. <laughs> <She's> like, <"Close laughs> <enough>. <laughs> was it a good book? Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's pretty scary. I read it when I was really young, maybe like seven or eight. Um, and it had some illustrations. Uh, if you've seen the movie, you can imagine some yeah. of these illustrations are. Ooh, what's this, this coming up? Oh. oh, wow. Long. Anemone? Relicanthus. This is a Relicanthus. Yeah. Relicanthus Daphne. Wow. Relicanthus. Big one. It is a nice big one. It's got some of its long tentacles all tangled up, though. It's yeah. Like, it's like silly string. <laughs> it does look like silly string. Yeah. Don't want to oh, get too so close pretty. to it. It's the a bit thrusters. Silly. Yeah. Unfortunately, in order to not get too close, I got to back up, and I'm going to throw some dirt out at it. We go without the lasers. Yep. Oh. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about this species? Um, yeah. So this is uh, a type. Of, well, it used to be grouped in with anemones, but now it's in its own group. Um, it's in the family Relicanthidae, um, Relicanthus daphnae. The long tentacled anemone, I guess would be a nice common name for it. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else has common names that they've come up for this organism in particular. A lot of the deep sea organisms don't have common names uh, and we just have to come up with them ourselves, I guess. Uh, that's how common names really start and they can be regional. So, you know, just on Nautilus, we can call it whatever we want. But they're right. really gorgeous. Yeah. Okay, we good? Thanks for that mm -hmm. zoom. Could stay here all day watching this guy. Mm -hmm. uh. Are you able to like lateral over and get a view of its base? What? Get a view of the base? Uh, Where it's attaching to the right. Slide around to the right, maybe. Wow, look at that long tentacle. For the person asking to repeat the name of the Tim Burton fish, it's a Bathysaurus. B A T H Y S A U R U S. Yeah, I'm going to kick up dirt good. if I go over there. Okay. I can maybe come from this side, but... That's all right. We could move on. Those tentacles go way out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are they sticky at all? Yeah, so they have nematocyst batteries in them, so they're stinging cells um, for capturing prey. You see it's like gotten a little disturbed by our thrusters and it's sort of coiling its tentacles back in. Yeah, corkscrewing, yeah.
Are we stopped? Yeah, I haven't right. moved in a while. Okay, yeah, that's a nice look at the attachment. Great, thanks. Wow. Oh, cool. All the way in. Super. Okay, zoom out. Yep. Great shot. Something pink on the rock to the left. Stirring up this whole area here. Yeah, this yeah we don't want to bathe it in uh, sediment, so we could move on. Okay. It looks like more bamboo coral, maybe a cup coral. Okay, coming up, Nick. Yep. Is the swell picking up, or did we just change heading? Or Seems like the swell picked up. Yeah. yeah. We're looking at wind speeds around 17 knots. Trucking. I'll get us moving again. Bridge now. Can we do another 20 meter move? Zero nine zero. Can we get another rock sample, or? Sure. Uh, what kind of oh, rock well, you want? Yeah, it depends how much time we have to stop. You can belay the move if you want. No, it's fine. We can keep moving. Okay. Do you see something you want? We've got about this. 20 minutes until we feel it, so we'll yeah, move quickly. Time. Well, that looks pretty good. Yeah, right that there. One. Okay, Jake. All right. I got 
that's your power. Roger. This one right below the lasers? Uh, this oh. one. Uh. Attached. Yeah, it budged, but I'll try again. Oh, it budged. Oh, it moved a little bit. Yeah. Extract that tooth. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, big boy. Well, that might be pretty. <laughs> I think the only spot that would fit is the porch, maybe, but try it. Hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to take up a lot of room. Okay. Yeah, and that's it's going to take... Oh. Nah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> we, can, we can leave it. Yeah, okay. If it's preferred. Yeah. Up here. What about one of these ones over here? I have to move up a bit. Can we try this one on the top? Yep. Hang on, let me get. Let me get you closer. Okay, get closer. Roger that. How's that? I, I don't think know. I'm going to be able to reach it. Pretty crusty. Yep. Hopeful. Oh. We can place that in starboard bio box F. Starboard A. Okay. Oh, I see. A or F? F. 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 Oh, Frank. Unless you think it can fit in A, then we can put it in there. But if not, it, then. It might depend on it. It's pointed, Is I there think. A rock? Uh, uh, Let okay. me come up a bit because you might bump in. I can't tell with the duck, but. Oh, no. So a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jake. All right. Big enemies. You ready for sample? Sponges. Yep. Mm 
box coming out. I hear that. Do you want me to try A? Yeah. Sure, you can try A. Uh, maybe you rotate around so the pointy end down. Mm. Hey. Oh, might fit. I think it might. Yeah. Let's see. It looks like it'll fit. <laughs> Let me tight get the squeeze. Wind. Oh. Wind to your back here. There oh, you go. Oh, very Yay. good. Score. Okay. And for our audience members listening, we are in the middle of a watch change, so you might hear some new voices as we get settled in. Dive. Oh, please. Yep. Dive. 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 There we go. You ready? Not you, Jake. <laughs>
Testing, testing. 12 to 4 mic test for science. Copy. Raj, sounds good. Uh, we are holding station here. Uh, Coming to a stop. Yeah. Um, Hello world, welcome to Nautilus Live. We are currently exploring okay. an unnamed seamount south of Palmyra Atoll within the Pacific Remote Islands Marine National Monument. We're hoping to collect some geological and biological samples. Yeah, yeah, the sonar dive Please really, hold tight uh, as we are and transitioning we it, it becomes an issue. for we'll our pause. 12 to 4 watch. Stay tuned. Yeah. Uh, science? Uh, yep. I just want to confirm that we are going to generally trend towards this waypoint two here. Um, yes. Can I? Can you show me on high pack a little bit further out? Yep. Okay, perfect. We're sort of walking up this, uh... Yep. Um, yeah, do you have a, a ship move in at the moment? Uh, no, we're going to get her out a little in front, and then I'll call in a movement. Um, but I wanted to just get our general Perfect. plan yep. down here first. OK, um, so one thing we're seeing as we come on watch is that the tensions are sort of starting to approach our limits, but they're not there yet. Um, so that's something to keep in mind, that as we get shallower, that's going to get better for us. So um, the more we can keep moving through here, I think the better is going to be for the system. But that's not to say we really have to we really have to push it or rush or take any chances. Um, just shallower is going to be better for us. Right. Okay. Um, so would you like to move th through here more quickly or just kind it's, of keep a steady pace? We're just going to keep a steady pace. Um, we're, it's not super. It's not going to be super feasible to move through here really quickly just because it's quite steep. And the vehicle can only go so fast if it's trying to go like up and forward. Like the ship... When the ship goes point two, the vehicle has to go a lot faster because it's got to cover a lot more like actual ground um, on steep terrain. So we'll just you know do our usual. What were they moving on the last on the last watch? Uh, in as far as steps. Yeah. I'm uh, twenty meters about. Uh, sorry, speed. Ah. Uh, um, I'm not sure what they had put in as speed. Okay. Would a uh, speed of like 0.15 be good for you or 0.1? I mean, I think we can do point, we can try point 0.2. Uh, point, can they do something like point 0.1, point 0.15? Yeah, we've called in point 0.15. Yeah, we've oh, done that okay. before. Great. Yeah. that. Let's try that. Um, and we'll just sort of keep an eye on it, make sure. They had some layback in, so they were definitely moving. They weren't like just creeping along. Yeah. Um, but I like the 20 meter steps for a train like this. Okay, that sounds great. Um, Kylie, are you ready? How do you feel? Feel good. Okay. Uh, I am. Off? I'm ready when everybody else is. Sounds good. Can Let's I do it. Can I turn off your porch light? Oh yeah. Thank you. Bridge, Nav. Sometimes it's nice the way it fills in the underside of rocks when you're on this steep stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Was it? Does it blow out your yeah. all hey, everything you're looking at? Uh, yeah. Could we step. Two zero meters to zero nine zero 
um, at 0 0.15 knots. Thank you. Are we ready to start introductions? Yeah, um, I think I am. All right. Front row, we're good to go. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're ready. Yeah, let's do it. Go for it. Okay, hello everybody. My name is Brandy Jones. I'm from Houston, Texas, serving as your science communication fellow. Coming up pretty fast. <laughs> uh, I'll keep. I'll let you know if it gets to be really fast, but it's like eight meters a minute right now. Okay. So like normal floating speed, I guess, floating up speed. And yes, this is a special 12 to 4 watch where we're making a little history as the first watch that is all that has no males. We are a non-male watch team, which is pretty cool. Join us on NautilusLive.org. And to the next scientist. Hello, everyone. It's noon here in the Central Pacific. Um, I'm Amber Saravalo from UNLV, and I am sitting in the science left chair, and we're currently going over some really nice basalt flows. Hi, everybody. My name is Megan Lubetkin, and I am the watch lead for the 12 to 4. Really excited for this, this watch. We're getting on some beautiful flows and hoping to see a lot of interesting corals and sponges on our way up. Okay. Hello everyone, I'm Mary Dury and I'm the data logger for this watch. Hello, I am Mia Beckler, I am sitting nav, I am from Portland, Oregon, and uh, I'm stoked to see some pretty sweet rocks. I'm Gabby Inglis, I'm sitting Herc right now. Um, and I think this terrain is some of the most fun to fly around with the steep cliffs and the big rocks. Hi, I'm uh, Kylie Pasternak, I'm sitting Argus. Hello, I am Ryan Leung, I am sitting video engineer. Ryan, is there anything we can do for brightness on the Argus, main Argus? Oh yeah, Argus is dark. It seems to have off days, hey? Yeah. Or maybe it's just because we're so spread apart. I don't know. That's already better. Do you want me to keep bumping it or are we good here? You got more? I do. It might get a little grainy though. Let's, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's, that's, that's good. Okay. I think that's a happy medium for now. I can actually take the center light off. Oh, is that gain, not iris there that you were? Working with? I was working with Iris. Okay. Um, if you're working with Iris, it probably won't get grainy because you're adding more light. Gotcha. Um, if you were working with gain, that would increase the graininess. I'm not sure how those controls work exactly, but that's, that's typically how that works. More light is better. Hey team, we have an odd question here. Um, they're saying, could someone in a wheelchair be on our crew as an ROV pilot? Would that be possible? I would imagine so. There are definitely, um, there are definitely accessible ships. Uh, I think the Sally Ride is one of them, and the Sally Ride can support a, uh, an ROV. Um, so I think uh, I think there's efforts being made to make that possible. So, uh, yeah, I don't see right, any reason why not. That's awesome. Yay for accessibility. <coughs> Welcome to Nautilus Live, Chrysalis. Shout out to South Texas. Welcome. Welcome. 
Okay, so Kylie, you want to hear about what's going on with the arm? Yes, please. Okay. I'm going to take this off SPL just because it's going to be technical and long-winded. No worries. Someone else just asked, what is the function of Argus? And that is to provide lots of light to Hercules and help out with seeing things on the seafloor. Is that correct? Um, I just missed the first part. Did you ask about Argus? Yeah, they were just wondering what is the function of Argus? Yeah, yeah, that's, you pretty much nailed it. Um, Argus is um, the, the point between Hercules and the ship, which is really important because the ship is still moving at the sea surface and we want Hercules to be able to maneuver around the seafloor and um, be quite delicate and precise, especially when we're doing sampling efforts or moving around um, cliffs or vents that are um, small and uh, or, or large and steep and uh, we, w we need to move very carefully. So um, that's an important part. And then, yeah, the bird's eye view is a really helpful perspective. Yeah. So you can see that out on the live feed as well on channel two. Um, and those, those are kind of the, some of the core uh, helpful parts about Argus. And so Hercules never dives without Argus. Um, but Argus can dive without Hercules sometimes and can be used for other kinds of, um, other types of exploring and, and mapping. Ooh, I think I see a sponge right here. Oh yeah, um, nice call. Is that the, uh, yeah. the sort of goblet looking sponge? Yeah. Megan mentioned we wanted to try to sample yeah. one of those. Oh, oh. oh, hey, Gabby. Oh, she is not on SPL. Gabby, can we go back to the left a bit? Oh, I don't have her on speaking. I had her in listening. Um, pilots, we have a sponge off to our port that we have some interest in sampling, if that's possible. Uh, ship is stopped. Yeah, it's in a bunch Bridge of rocks. Hold position. <laughs> we are on the same page. Okay, yeah. Great. Um, so I think it's somewhere... Oh. oh, no. One second. Um, what does oh no mean in this context? No, it's fine. We no, just, no, no, it's it's just our telescreper. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um. <laughs> my mouth moves before my brain sometimes. <laughs> Reserve oh no's. <laughs> yes. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, I'm not seeing it here. I think it was, was it over, whoops, that way? <laughs> <laughs> I love it when people use the, like, curly arrow. That just that makes me super happy. That is nice. And I think that's a holothurian down there. I don't remember seeing that before, so it might actually be further down, maybe? Could be. Possible. I don't have my bearings anymore for think quite where we are. The outcrop might have been sort of starboard and down at this point. Yeah. Uh, Megan mentioned they'd seen a few of them, so we probably don't need to. Yeah, we don't need to go searching for that. But let's keep our eyes peeled. So it's like a small kind of rounded um, okay. sponge. And if we see it again, we're going to want to get a little sample of that. Okay, sounds great. Ooh, and I think we've got a brittle star was over to the left. Bridge, it's yeah. out of view now. Could we step two zero meters to zero nine zero at zero point one five knots? Oh, we have some uh, marine biology students who are um, using our data for their assignment. And they wanted to know, is the atoll completely underwater or is there a ridge above water? Uh, that's a good question. We are south of Palmyra, so Palmyra Atoll is above water and there are people that live there. Uh, where we are now is quite a bit south well, quite a bit. It's like 
I think 35 nautical miles south. And I am zooming out on high pack right now. Uh, is the video, you, are you able to toss high pack up on the feed? Sorry, for what? Uh, are you able to put high pack out? Um, let's see. I have PC labeled one through four, but you happen to know which one that is. Should be PC three. Three. All right, up on sat P3. Raj, uh, does it look like a big map? Yes. Okay, that's what we want. Uh, so you can see here that where all these contours are on the surface, that's where we are diving. Um, Actually. And it is sort of a, a little a baby seam out here. Hey, now. Uh, flanked by a I think this and is actually your left screen that is showing up on feed three. My le uh, is it a, is it plan or survey? Does it it is. Like? No, it's, it's now the just sonar. changed, so now it's on sonar. It's the oh. mesotech. Okay, go back to three. Um, I think it. So well, I think we're looking for the high pack. Uh, there you go. There it is. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Great. All right, there we go. So we are diving where you can see these waypoints and all these contours, uh, and you can see there's sort of <laughs> Zero, the, Z bias. the peak there. Um, the contours, when you zoom out, can make it a little bit harder to take in, but they really help when we're way zoomed in for us to know what depth we're at and what the incline is like on the slope that we're moving up. Um, but yeah, you can see this this seamount is fully underwater, and it's flanked by a guillot over here and another seamount uh, that are also fully underwater. And if I keep zooming out here, then we can actually take a look at Palmyra, which is above water. Mm. Uh, so if that's the atoll that we are considering, it is above water. If we're just talking about the area that we're in right now, these guys are all subsurface. Now, if we can increase speed to point two. Raj. I have a little update on our sponge friend that Where we saw that? earlier. Chris Kelly said that there's a good chance that that sponge is a new species, so we'll no doubt see more. Oh, of them. rad! Oh, great! So we will. Sorry, we ended up flying by sample. that. Could we? Oh no, it's fine. Zero point two okay. knots. Okay, we'll keep our eyes peeled. Should be more. So the estimated percentage of the oceans that are currently unexplored would be about 90%. Would the, that be an accurate estimate? Of the 90% being, what was that? Una mapping? Unexplored, yeah. 90% of the ocean unexplored? Mm -hmm. Are we considering uh, the three-dimensional space? <laughs> yeah, which, <laughs> or just which the seafloor? <laughs> That's a science. <laughs> That's up to our up to our interpretation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yeah. I mean, so often when we explore the seafloor with with ROVs or submersibles, we well when we explore the ocean, we're we're talking about the seafloor, um, and we move through the the blue water to get down to an area that of um, of interest, and and so when we talk about exploring the ocean, often we're talking about the seafloor, but there's been some initiatives recently and new vehicles made like the Mesobot, which has been out on Nautilus before, um, to explore the Midwater, which is an area that has been very, very little explored and requires a lot of time since it's so huge. So I think if we consider the Midwater, certainly would be could be a lot less than 90%, but that's mm. a bit hard to calculate. It's your 7 for you. But then another way to look at it would be how much of the seafloor has been mapped. Um, it's not quite explored with cameras and lights, but... Um, Nia, do you know what percentage of the seafloor is mapped in high resolution at this point? That's a really complicated question. Yeah, um, I know. High resolution <laughs> is really the crux of that because, like, for example, the SEBA 2030 initiative where we're trying to map all of the world's oceans by 2030. It's a UN Decade of Ocean Science agenda. 
Um, that resolution is 100 meters, which I wouldn't consider to be particularly high resolution, um, except that, you know, a lot of the ocean is thousands and thousands of meters deep. Mm -hmm. So with deep water mapping, 100 meters is a pretty sort of standard um, grid size. Uh, but, but what that means is if you were to draw a 100 by 100 meter square, there would be one data point in it and that would be 100 meter resolution. So, you know, explored. <laughs> Dan has this like really hilarious way of explaining this. And he says that like, this is a very Dan way of explaining this. He's like, have you ever been to a monster truck show? And we're all like, well, I haven't. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> and then he's like, okay, so you go to a monster truck show and you're in this arena and there's all this stuff happening. There's all these huge trucks and like all this action and all these jumps and all this crap. And it's about 100 meters by 100 meters. Um, so you can have an entire monster truck show and not see it, yep. basically, is, what's, is what he says. <laughs> and I think that that is a spectacular way of talking about it. It's it, it, very comical. It is, yeah. I mean, that's, that's one reason why, like, wreck hunting with multi-beam, you have to be really, you have to be in exactly the right depth range. And be looking at terrain where, you know, your wreck is standing out because it's really easy to, like, you could have a 747 wing to wing be missed entirely when you're driving over because oh, it's wow. just right between the things. yeah 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 um and you know say you got one ping on it like that's not going to be enough to be like wow that really looks like an airplane <laughs> so it it's <laughs> sort of a game or a monster truck yeah or a monster truck rally <laughs> like that doesn't look like trucks <laughs> that just looks like a point um so we we do have like we we do have a lot of um the ocean mapped, uh, especially the coastlines are mapped to a much Holothurian higher resolution than that because shallow water here? is better yep. for that. It's but uh, yeah. there. the deep ocean, can I think the statistic is still about 10% mapped. Yes, we can. The Holotherian? Yes. Yes. Okay. Go for Zoom video. You can go wide again, sorry. Haven't totally dialed in the Z-Bias yet. They've picked up rocks. <laughs> Reballasted the vehicle, basically. Go for zoom. And when we're done looking at this guy, nice. can we go a little bit panning out to the right? I think there was a crinoid or maybe a little coral on Do one Do you have what you need, Data? Yes. Okay. Uh, go a little wider. All right. What little was that? A little bit oh, further. Oh, that was a uh, sea cucumber. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow, or good eyes. Durian. Nice. There also might be go for a zoom. sea pen over here as well. This really hmm. is a very cool little arrow. I'm having I... way too much fun with the telestrator <laughs> again. I think Megan needs to uh, make me make me get away from it. <laughs> Amber's, Amber's hooked. <laughs> Data, are you getting what you need? Yes. Okay. Do we know what this is? What is that? I can't uh, tell if it's alive or go not. Go wide, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And That's so another. I think definitely Don't need to be this far away. C pen in there. You wanna want to show me where? Zoom? It was in, oh. Come was here. it near that crinoid thing? Yes, a little bit more over to the right. Okay. Try that. Oh, what's going on with that arrow? That <laughs> oh, <laughs> it went out and back. Yeah. That was a loop. Wow. <laughs> That's a new one. All right, Osako is thinking party. that that might have been a crinoid that we were just looking at. But yes, right in here is our little, there's okay. something sticking Go for straight zoom. up from the sediment. Uh, that looks oh, like is a, that a little serpulid, maybe? Mm -hmm. It looks like maybe a worm. Maybe. Oh my, I'm not can sure. we? Is, is, can we get any more zoom on that? And yeah, we can. A little bit to the side. There's definitely. Go like wide video. It's also so hard thought with that that was an urchin because of those What's those that? very straight spot that oh, the previous one yeah, yeah. it was an urchin oh that makes sense maybe just a wee little urchin <laughs> ah you're very not long the only spines. one that thought that Scott oh that's Frank what yeah it. that's where I was oh, reading okay. it from <laughs> 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 
Okay, go for Zoom video. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a worm. Looks like a serpulid. Ah. Well, all right then. I think we're good with that. Okay, go wide. Great. And onward. Bridge, onward. Yeah. Thank you. Some nice little critters over here. Could we step to zero meters head or bearing zero seven four? Yes. Scott France says that, that was a fan worm. Ah, a fan worm. Polychaete. Nice. This is a big edge here. Nice bulbous rocks. Can you turn porch back on? Let's see if we can get like that light up some of the underside of these rocks. This is not so many mysteries down there. Yeah. I really like that. But yeah, turn it off whenever you need to. something oh, oh my goodness no <laughs> you can't no. undo it it's we, okay we, uh, <laughs> disregard that roger disregarding <laughs> <laughs> keep those coins in the zoom bank <laughs> some more feeding trails along the rocks but i'm not seeing any life Amber, you want to tell the audience what you're hoping to find during this watch? What I'm specifically hoping to find or what we're hoping to find in general? <laughs> well, each of you could, you know, share out <laughs> you. Up to your oh, interpretation. Oh, Video, go for Zoom. Oh, goodness gracious. Yes. Gabby, you know what you're doing. <laughs> Did you want the crinoid or do you want the sediment? Um, uh, no, the we, want, we want the okay. crinoid. Stock. The creature, Roger. <laughs> So for me specifically, mm. what I'm looking for is volcanic rocks because all of these seamounts are all volcanic in origin. So what I'm hoping is to get as many rocks that are that have unaltered um, interiors on them so that I can crush them up and date them to see how old these seamounts were. Because right now what we're thinking is that this area is from the Cretaceous. So did you guys get what you need the there? Dinosaurs. Yep, we're good. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. Thank what you, Amber. When was the Cretaceous, Amber? Say that one more time, Nav. When was the Cretaceous? So, <laughs> I don't remember the upper limit for it, but it ended about 65 million years ago. And I think goes through at least 120 million years ago because that's about the age of the sea floor itself in this area. Um, but beyond that, I don't know how much further it goes. I might actually look that up really quick. Mm -hmm. I got you. Ah, got my back, Nav. I also <laughs> don't remember. It's 145 to 66 million years ago. You nailed it. Um, nice. Can we get a zoom on mm. oh, these guys right yes. here? Oh yeah. There's several yeah. things. Over I. Here. Crinoid. Would not miss it for the world. Excellent. Okay, go for zoom. So bamboo. Mm. Oh, fun. Oh. oh wow. Oh, there's there's a couple. There is a lot going on right oh, here. Oh, a couple of little anemones on there. Yeah, and so, so it's a bamboo crinoid and anemones. Um, uh, I think so. Yeah. It's that's an interesting. That's er, a, Scott France thinks I it's primnoids. Primnoids. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Look at the 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 nodes here. Yeah. It's kind of strange. What's strange about the nodes? 
can we get a little closer to that baby? Yes, or we that are going to do that. Great. Yeah, Scott is also saying I need a closer look. Yeah. <laughs> I think all of us are a little bit uh, uh. intrigued by this. It almost looks like one part of that has it's either broken, broken and yeah. is coming down. Yeah, this part right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Mm -hmm. How many critters is that? Um, uh, there's at least four. Two of these uh, maybe little five guys. Up there. Oh, yeah. yeah this is, uh, oh, my goodness. I don't think this is a bamboo. Okay. Mm -hmm. either. Yeah, I don't see any nodes. No. Yeah. Um, but there might be, Scott Francis pointing out a clatter, is it sponge behind it? Okay. Are we good here? Yeah, um, maybe we could get a little bit zoomed out. Okay. Slowly. Thanks, video. Okay. Never mind on the sponge. <laughs> okay, let's stop there maybe. You get some good screen grabs of that? Yeah. Excellent. All right. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, Pretty go wide video. Stuff. Bridge, now. Nice. It's really poking out into the current. Mm -hmm. It's like a good spot Two for zero it. Zero meters, yeah. bearing zero seven five. I'm actually really Nav, I'm really liking this rhythm. It's good. Are not having stuff. It, it seems like we can, these, these yeah. Little moments where a we bit can more protective, like, really though. Yeah. Yeah, I like, yeah, you have a lot more control over sort of, like, the, with the 20 meter steps and not, like, being, like, we're moving steadily, but we're still getting to look at everything. Roger, we'll keep it going. Yeah. Welcome, Gear, from Sweden. Um, I am sort of, like, the wind is, Ooh. you know, yeah. not... Not, not amazing. So if we start to show any sign of having trouble holding position, we'll keep the moves longer and more consistent. Roger. Do you think we could get oh. a zoom on, on this one? Absolutely. Go okay. for zoom. He's nice and large. And there are 10 meters between those lasers. Centimeters? 10, Ten centimeters. Ten centimeters. Ten centimeters. <laughs> that would be cool. I know. A huge <laughs> coral. If that was 10 meters, that would be. I know. My bad. Yeah. No nice worries. black coral. Beautiful. Bridge, now. Do you guys have what you need here? Yes. You can go in a little tighter if you want, video. Alexia, what is our swell looking like? Nice. These Ooh. are beautiful. So pretty. Oh, no 4K. Nope, that is true. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, go ahead. All right, thank you for that zoom. Great. Um, uh, Megan, do you want to try again with the 4K? It was powered off. Oh, OK. Yeah, I was just curious. Is it up there, or did Dan take it off? Oh, I don't know. He said he wasn't going to take it off, remember? Yeah, I know. But Oops. I don't know. So OK, sorry, I'm turning power off. No worries. I he don't. Did that, I was up till 6. He did that document. Oh, OK. So I didn't see them getting dirty. OK. Um, is it in the red book that they took it off? No. Okay. He's usually pretty good about was that. Was it your note that the HPU adapter was empty after our yes. last dive? Yes, it was. But we filled it. Yep. Raj. It does that. Okay. It's a total mystery. Last year, it was um, coming up empty, but that same volume was showing up in the motor comp, uh, HPU motor comp, which is why we swapped out the motor, yeah. thinking that the seal, the shaft seal on the, in the adapter, uh, between the adapter and the motor was going. But now it's happening again, and that seal's just fine. So right. it's a little bit of a mystery. Okay. Can we take a look over here? Oh, I don't want that in frame. Let's uh, <laughs> let me see where I am. Make sure I'm not like yeah. So I'm like looking way over to that side. Thank you for g reminding me. What do you see in there? I thought I had seen a stalk of maybe a bamboo coral, but now I'm thinking I just see sediment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it might be a shadow. Yeah. Okay, you can bump in. Gabby. Pass them magnum arm. Yeah, awesome. Oh, 
Oh, what is that little guy? Oh, an acrobatic <laughs> oh, snail, I think. Yes. <laughs> oh, and cute. He has such an iridescent wow. shell. They're amazing. Mm. I have always wanted to be able to follow one of these all the way down. Like, <laughs> I, I've always struggled because they move so fast. <gasps> Look at that. Go for zoom. Wow. And he knew that you wanted to, to capture him on he film. He looks like he's got so. like a little, little face. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, I've oh, never wow. seen one up close before. Oh. This is great. Oh my gosh. Scott what type of snail is, is it? A little Gaza wider? Snail. Gaza. Gaza snail. Yeah. Hello, mm -hmm. Gaza snail. And Beautiful. Oh. What, maybe three oh, centimeters? <laughs> They're so yeah. fast when they get going. Yeah. Oh my. Wow. What a lovely shell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is making me dizzy just trying to follow him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Okay, go wide. Yeah, I've never been able to see those close enough to realize that the shell was iridescent like that. That's really cool. It's really cool. They usually like freak out and then just go flying. Amber, you're off SPL. Yeah, they're so cute. Yeah. It's called a, what is it called? A, a Gaza, Gaza snail. Gaza snail. It's a great really name. glamorous name, too. Yeah. <laughs> glamorous little snail. It's a glamorous snail. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of I've, stylish creatures down here. Yeah, I've always heard them called acrobatic snails for some reason. That oh, makes what sense. Are you? Oh, what's, what do we have over here? Look at this guy. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Uh, go for zoom. Ooh. Um, talk, talk, talk again? No. No. It just is. Sea so cucumber? Nope. Mm. No options. Yeah. That's an interesting creature. I do not know I what this is. I think it's a sea cucumber. Okay. I think. You guys have some photos? Uh, give me a sec. You're good? Yes. Got some. Okay, go wide. And we shall keep moving. <clears throat> yes, we will look at this maybe tunicate. Go for yes. zoom. Sponge? Is this our goblet friend? Uh, is he I don't not think alive? He seems sediment covered. This one. Let's get a zoom. Yeah. It does I not look don't alive. Think, yeah, I don't think this is alive and I not sure that this is the one that they were looking for earlier. It looks yeah, a bit it looks bigger. A bit different. Yeah, a little bit less round. There's here's some sponges right here. Yep. Are these potential want to sample ones? These okay. look more like the ones that we Usually thought we were see. seeing. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we could yeah get a zoom on that and we'll try to make a a quick decision about sampling. Go for zoom. Oh, there's two different types. Or, yeah. There's a different one that is mm -hmm. underneath down there. Now, I know that one, I think, is not what we're going to sample, but these ones up front, I'm not sure of. Yeah, I'm not sure if this, this one up here is of interest. Uh, the lower one might be of interest to Chris. Oh. Okay. So, th this lower one or the one under there, Steve? Sorry, we might have to stick around here for okay, just a minute. Okay, let's stop the ship. Yep. Do you think we can move the ship back? We've got a bit of layback. Roger. Uh, how far back do you want to move? Um, put Argus maybe right here. Okay. All 
sounds right, like maybe 20 meters or something. Got an idea on the top one. Hyalin Neva. I butchered that a little bit. But Are you guys going to want to sample this? We're typing. Yeah, we're Could standing we by from a one five okay. meters. Slurp you would like us okay. to slurp one half of one of these. So we're going to try to slurp one of these. Okay. White ones. And um, how, how are you feeling about time as far as the ship? We're going to set the ship up to actually make this sample. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, we will have to move the ship back, but it's just part of the deal. Sounds um, good. So I'll set up. And uh, so we want to slurp one of the bottom ones. Do yep, we want yep. a clip of any of the others? Uh, I think I just one on the bottoms. So it looks like. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. So not the one underneath, but the one of the one of these little ones down here. Okay, there's a decent chance, just because we're gonna use suction, that we're gonna get both of them, or we're gonna disrupt the other. Gotcha. Uh, okay. It's gonna be. It could. It could be a little difficult. We'll definitely try to just get one, but there might. Depending on how they're attached and okay. things like that, yep. that's potential. There's potential there. That's fine. Um, Can you go wide video? Before we do slurp it, let's try to get a really good, nice. Yeah, absolutely. Zoom I'll in. get in and perch for the actual sample, and that'll be a good time Perfect. to get the. Excellent. Okay, go for Zoom. So, Kelly, you want to uh, fire up comps to the arm and turn off the bender? Yeah. Okay. So, craft power on and then... Uh, yep. And just out of curiosity, do you guys mind if I turn off the porch lights? I want to see, like, what we gain or lose from that. Yeah, go for it's it. It's a great image. Oh, oh, I'm so happy about I these porch that. lights. Oh, that's nice. That's beautiful. Nice idea. Um, I like the fill-in from the porch lights, too, though. Um, when you don't have that, like, crazy contrast, it can make it sometimes easier to get a good um, iris. And the better your iris choice, the better your focus and everything can come together. Um, it is good contrast, though. Um, OK, do you guys have what you need here? Yep. I think there's an associate living in one of these, too. Ooh. There's a little like red splotch yeah. on the leftmost one. Mm. Maybe like a little amphipod or something like that. Could be a shrimp. OK. Um, you want DC Bender off, correct? Are you uh, happy with where Argus? We're, we're coming up on a, the end of that step. Okay. Move back a bit more. You can move back a little bit more. Okay. Yep. What's um, up? Bridge now. Oh, is that because I? It's I didn't, because you turned the. I, I didn't so yeah. you need to turn the bender okay, off Raj. to get rid of that. Okay, just making sure. And yeah. the sense and could enable one. Both one, of zero those. Okay. Meters bearing two, four, and five. Uh, Arg, we're going two, four, five heading. Raj but I am not going to change my heading. I'm just gonna keep her in picture. Sounds yeah, good. yeah. you should just keep her in picture. Yeah. Um, Ryan, can you go full wide for me? Yep. Someone in our feed seems to think that there's a whip sponge below the um, what we're looking at. I don't know how true that might be. Uh, I did see another little sponge kind of hidden in a crevice down there, but not sure what kind. 
How far does Argus lag behind Nautilus laterally as these steps when the ship is moving? Yeah, we'll, we'll let our pilots uh, mm. take care of what, what's going on now, and then we can get okay. back to you on that. All right. When you say do like the wrong thing, what should I be looking for? Yep, we'll keep eyes. Yes, that would be great. For those of you who are tuning in just now, we are about to collect our first sample for the 12 to 4 watch. Thank you for tuning in. Bridge now, hold position. I think we've also got a little uh, brittle star or something on top of where our sponges are. Science, can I ask you what jar you want this in? Uh, how about jar number one? Okay. That seems intuitive. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's one. Great. Um, do you want the porch light on? You might be able to see that a little better. Ooh, that is delightful. <laughs> I love that. We've never had anything like that when I'm flying uh, in the past. Oh, science, do we know what variety of sponge this is? Were you talking to me? Okay. Science. Okay. For some reason, I can't hear science. Yeah, we were just having a oh, okay a small chat. Gotcha. Uh, do we know what what variety of sponge we're looking at? Uh, it's a glass sponge. Raj, just putting it in so, the target here. You know what? I'll let you just do it. You might you might find something out. Wow. Someone in the audience is asking, um, have you ever collected moving samples? And if so, how? <laughs> <laughs> Very difficultly. Well, we certainly have done uh, a moving Niskin. 
it's a water sample. But animal, I have not. <laughs> What's that? I haven't seen it done. I'm sure someone else has. Moving, we're always moving a little bit, but um, we've had some quick kind of grab and go rocks. But while we're kind of moving quite quickly, we don't, we haven't done a sample like that. Usually we want to get a good image of it, so we need to slow down a bit. We don't always need to sit down at, like this as we are now, but um, yeah, usually we, we do that. But you wouldn't collect like um, a live, like a... Like a coral or something. I as guess something moving. that's moved, like, oh, like a shrimp like a or a... Ah, where the sample is moving, not mm -hmm. us. Yeah. Um, we've tried to do collections like that. Sometimes it can be quite difficult and kind of funny, um, <laughs> but like no. But we can we can maybe right. ask our pilots if they have any experience with that after this sampling event is done. You're on the scoop. Mary, would you like to tell the audience some things that you're hoping to find during our watch? Of course. Um, well, I'm hoping to find plenty of coral, uh, especially bamboo corals. I'm looking for my own research for a specific kind of bamboo coral to hopefully collect and get some great images of. Nice. Megan, would you like to share any of your hopes for today's watch? Ooh, 
I'm hoping that we get some great rocks for our geologists. Mm -hmm. um, and that we keep seeing some interesting biology and get some nice zooms and maybe some samples. Yeah. And that all of our operations continue smoothly. Mm -hmm. Don't have any operational challenges. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So far, so good. Yeah. Someone would like to know, is it better to do a miskin sample when the water is clear or when the sediment is stirred up? Um, I think it depends on what we're looking for. Mm. Is the ideal time for a miskin. <laughs> uh, right now, a lot of our water sampling is going towards eDNA, so I'm not sure how sediment would affect that, but they're looking mostly over large corals. Mm -hmm. Go like gardens to take those water samples, but I think it also, yeah, it depends on what people are looking for from their water. Mm -hmm. Usually, we would want the water to be not stirred up unless it was stirred up naturally. If we kicked up the sediment, then that wouldn't be quite uh, the environment that we first came upon. It would be a disturbed one. It is twelve fifty five out here. Video, go for Zoom. Almost there. This is so cool. I think bubble is actually going to be my best view. You can start to turn that up a little bit. And maybe a little zoom on bubble. Okay. Okay, that's great for bubble. And it's time for suction. Wow. 
can stop there and see if we can get it. And it, you were able to get it by itself. It didn't even attach to the other one, right? Oh, uh, sorry. You can turn it on. Just keep it at 50. Oh, it's trying. Oh, so we did cool. get two. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Got them, but they were kind of attached together. Yeah, no worries. Ah. That was great. Uh, it's not quite in the jar yet, though, is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There, oh, it is. there it is. Oh, nice. Nice job. Man, that is so cool. All right. Yeah. Suction off. Go wide. Science happens every day. They actually maintained their integrity into the slurp as well, it looks like. Yep. Bless you. Yeah. Great work. Yes. Uh, Good job, Alex. All right. Are we ready to... Uh, Wonderful. Can we can zoom in again to confirm about the bases remaining? Yeah, I can, I'm just going to sort out this suction yeah. sampler so it's whenever not you, in the way. Oh, yeah, whenever you have time. No yeah. problem. Um, and Nav, just a heads up, we're, we might want to zoom a, a couple of other things so we don't want to get moving right away. Raj, we'll, uh, we'll hang tight. Great. And we may be looking for a rock in about 30 meters depth. Uh, okay. As so a heads up. Pretty close general vicinity. Yeah, and around 3,600 meters, we'll, we'll want to look, look around for some crust for Coralie. Okay. Maybe uh, a rock for Amber. That sounds good. I'll keep our steps pretty small What's so that? we can stop. Great. Uh, yep. Yeah. We can turn uh, all craft-related things. Benders back on, craft off. Great. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go for Zoom. I think a little bit of that base oh, remains. Pilots yeah. Just a, just really a slight tiny heading bit. Yep. Yeah. Right uh, from the ship? Uh, Data, are you happy with this? It uh, looks like we're uh, settling at a 138. Yes. Okay, um, go wide video. And uh, what's next? Okay, so if we could get a zoom on this guy over here. Okay. And then off to the starboard side, I think there's a, a longer coral over there that we might want to zoom on. Go for yep. Zoom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Feather storm? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it. If you want more or better, I can get it. I just have to pick up. Um, I think we're good with that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And then you could zoom out when you're ready. Yep. Go ahead. Zoom out. And then um, over here, there's a coral, I think, that we might want to get a zoom on before we get moving around. And so uh, I just mentioned this to, to nav pilots, but we might be wanting to get some rocks in okay. about uh, at around 3,600 meters. And then in general, we might be looking around for rocks every 95 to 100 meters depth um, until we get to 2,800 okay. meters, so. It's feeling a little rolly. Argus, how are you feeling about tensions? Okay. Okay. If we see a 15, okay. Yep. Yep, we're gonna look Pretty at those. Sure. Hey Alex, you just wanna check in that that swell is holding at around two and a half to three meters. Roger.
Nice. Yeah. It's like bamboo. Okay. So I think So we're good on this Zoom whenever you you folks are ready. Thanks for that. Yep, um, we're clear. We wanted to make sure that we were just absolutely all in agreement about the Perfect. policy. No, no problem it's at all. It's definitely going to be relevant. Yep. Um, so we should probably get moving up slope a bit. Yep. Let's do that. Right. Okay. Sounds good. Sure. Uh, Zero point Go two wide. has been a good speed yet. Yeah, okay. I like it. Great. Great. Math. Looks like Scott Francis saying this might be some type of bathogorgia uh, could or we set to zero meters undescribed to species seven five on the J at zero point two knots. Nice. Great. Uh that's zero seven five. Um and can you see high pack at all, Kylie? No. Okay. Never mind. I generally call in the heading that the next waypoint is at, which is in high pack, if you ever want to just glance at it. But uh, you can also ask me if you don't want to change your screens, that's fine. How does the team decide where to send the ROVs when we do the expeditions? So um, on expeditions, on exploration cruises, we often go places that folks have not explored before. So sometimes they haven't been mapped and we need to Somebody's do- Somebody's saying something. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> We've got it. It's new. <laughs> I actually never use it and I should cuz it's a really good sonar and I like I'm not I'm not as good about using the sonars as some of the other pilots like some some pilots like can use them to like great effect and find really cool things to look at with them. And I I think still I'm at like that phase where I've got enough inputs. I'm like saturated. Like, there's already two sonars up there. Why do I need a third sort of thing? That's all good. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, go go Gabby, ahead, Gabby, could you put the depth up? Yeah, Is totally. Thank you. Because we're getting close to that threshold for Coralie sample. Oh, great. I want to make sure that we don't surpass it. Yeah, Perfect. there are lots of rocks to grab. <laughs> Excellent. I think uh, we'll finish out this next step and be pretty close to where we want to be for that. Perfect. And how are we doing with our tension limits? Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Argus, could you do a glance at the craft arm with the... I think I stowed it kind of awkwardly. Oh, okay. No. 
Just a trick of the light on Argus. Yeah. Sounds good. Ooh, is that a holothurian up in the, the top Looks like left? it. Yeah. Pretty dark colored one. Yeah. It looks a little bit more purple as the light gets on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Now I see it. Mm. Oh, chonky one. <laughs> <laughs> Not Oops, sorry, I'm tugging on you. Last time we were here. Bridge, eh? Could we step one zero meters bearing zero seven two? I'm gonna try to bring us in a little bit closer to that thirty six hundred step. Okay, great. That was a what was the uh, step length? One zero ten meters. Okay. Pretty small step. I love these ripples that are going around the bigger rocks. Yeah, it's quite, quite dramatic. I think, do you think that we're going to be able to get away with maybe a, like another couple moves in order to come up 16 meters? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we've got about 30 meters of layback on, so. Oh, I, I see what you're saying. Got it. Um, I'm tracking. We could definitely keep moving a little bit and then just readjust if we need to. That's. Um, I defer to you. Ratchet. Go with your plan. I don't love this wandering pain. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Could we step one zero meters bearing zero seven What do we got going on? Uh, 
Roger. Roger. Ooh, sponge. And maybe a sea pen right next to it. Or bamboo coral. If we're if we have time and we're in a good position to zoom, we could, but if not, we can keep moving. Okay, great. That looks like the same one as before that had been in the top area. Yeah, it does. The last mm -hmm. segment. Very round. And I, that looks like a stalk of a crinoid without the crinoid. Yeah. We've seen a few of those. Oh, and oh, then and we have a, a little shrimp. Or <laughs> no, what is that? Do we have any more zoom? There we go. Yeah, it looks like all the Oh, okay. No worries. What's that? What's that beneath it? Yeah, just a crusty bit. Hmm. Maybe an old stock. I mean, not stock. A old base of a sponge that fell off. Possibly. Yeah. Thank you. Too. That was great. Bridge, no? Could we step one zero meters bearing zero nine zero? Oh, what's that up there on the rock? Uh, Ooh. Up uh, towards the top of the screen on the it's rock. It's dead. Yeah. It Looks like there's something on the other side too. It's a crinoid, maybe. And there's a shrimp. Yeah. So gooey. Cool. Yeah. Nice. So a feather star, I think. All right. Mm -hmm. I think we're good with that. Thank that you. That actually does not look like the skeleton of a sponge. Um. Uh, that looked almost like I a spider's web. Our bearing to zero nine zero. Get <laughs> on in zero. Try to get up this. Uh, we're going sort of laterally with the contours. Try to get up a little faster. How's the weather doing? Uh, we've got some pretty stable gusts, 15 to 17. Wow. And it seems like the swell has uh, been pretty consistent, although we're getting these kind of sets of big rollers coming through. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone in the audience would like to know, um, do you do any genetic analysis when you take the samples in the wet lab? Ooh, good Ooh. question. Um, not on, in the wet lab on the ship, mm -hmm. but we they do get used for genetic analysis. So they often get sent off to a museum where then scientists from all over can request these samples and it can get used for genetics. That's often what I do. Uh, awesome. Huh. Oh. It looks like some kind of sponge, dead, dead, stock? S dead stock, with or another associate? with a shrimp. Are deep sea corals more resist to climate changes? This. Um. That's part of why we're looking down here, because so, we don't quite know yet. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this is us getting baseline data what's down here so we can then understand how climate change will affect them. A lot of these uh, a lot of these deep water species we step one zero meters bearing zero nine zero? are are very used to stable conditions since many of them are quite old. So rapid changes are certainly not something that they're used to, to yeah. my knowledge. That would be a worry. So it's definitely a concern with changing chemistry of the ocean and other possible threats that they will not hold up well. So that's why that's why we're here, mm -hmm. to get some baseline information, characterize these environments, better understand. We've got a flying holothurian. Little one. <laughs>
Great. Um, we're looking for a crust that is ideally not very sediment covered. Um, I think that is the optimal situation, but it, we can, we'll, we'll get something no matter what, um, if it's, if it looks like it's got a nice crust and not a lot of sediment. Mm. I think that had been a, uh, stalked an enemy that we just passed. I think I missed that. Yeah. Bridge nav. Uh, Stand by. Are we ready to hold position? Bridge nav, let's hold position. Yeah, we want some time to look around. Mm. Yeah. Here it is. It's down here on this bottom bigger rock. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, potentially not an enemy. Yeah, can we get a zoom on that? Oh, we've got Ooh. a fish. Ooh. Oh, oh wow. fish. Nice. We're also going to want to zoom on his head and gills if we can. Hey. Good zoom. Great. Ooh, both in the same frame. Nice. nice. Beautiful. He's just chilling. Do we know what kind of fish it is? Um, let's see if we have any any folks from shore that can chime in. I'm not a fish expert. I am also not a fish expert. <laughs> no, nobody in this no van. fish experts. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. I think our pilots are having a little bit of fun following the fish. I could gladly make up a name for that fish. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we've got Ken from the chat. Ooh. Diplocanthopoma. I don't even think... Wow, <laughs> this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful shot. Nice, nice view. Nice lighting. Very photogenic. Just look back. Just an eyeball. Back. Can we zoom in a little bit more? Great. Ah, Ken is now saying cusk eel. I can't even try to say these names. <laughs> I shouldn't. I shouldn't try. But <laughs> today, today. Oh, and there's That's a my best guess. Yeah, there is a little feather star or, or a brittle star. Brittle star. star right yeah. I really need to stop with this illustrator. Yeah. No, that's that's great. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> We, we we still, I think we got a zoom with the fish. Oh, I think we did. Yeah, we got, got some grabs somewhere. of that. Oh, so. we've got a little coral over here, yeah. off in the mm -hmm. middle of sediment. Great. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Can we do a zoom first on this coral, or is that possible? It might be a, one of the percentage sea stars. Oh, oh, maybe. maybe. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I misidentified. Looks uh, like what? No. Oh, that is that's a, a coral. coral yeah. I think. Nice. On a little rock. Little tiny little baby. sample. Great. All right. All right. Uh, heteropathies. Um, Thank you, Steve. <laughs> okay. So maybe we could look. Sediment free rock. <laughs> Along Sorry. with our fish. We were for a second there. We were within point one. It was like, I was like, yes. Hey, buddy. Oh, that's Double a nice. Double lateral line. Wow. I see. Oh. It's my Hello. Life. This oh, is these guys perfect. These really, really like the rocky habitat. So wow. So he might stay with us while we search for a rock. Or she? We're not sure. Oh, yes. Or they? <laughs> Hello. Maybe we should go with they. There's several species that can go either way depending on their situations. Very Have relatable. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at the lasers, kid. I'm not gonna like it. Oh, oh, Raj. Oh yeah. It's not reacting to the lasers, <laughs> so maybe you think you're right. 
Okay. <laughs> let's, let's zoom back out let's, and start searching for rocks. Let's let our friend <laughs> Keep live <low>. their life. <laughs> can we okay, just, so can we get a leash for it and bring it along? So <laughs> do fish play dead? <laughs> Maybe maybe this one's sleeping. I feel sleeping. like it just did a little flight, fight, flight, freeze situation. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like oh, over here, oops, too. over here or over here, it looks a little bit less sediment covered. Um, yeah, let's let's have a look over here. Let's see, let's see. And after looking around for a nice crust, we can also take a look for an angular rock for yeah. amber. I would also like a pretty rock from this area. That would be great. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you think of this little guy? Or is that too small? Gabby, too small. you know you're not on SPL. Thank you. Sorry about that. No problem. Perfect. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, the lower right is kind of what I'm looking at. Yeah, like over here? Yeah. Or over here? Yeah. Do you think um, we can get a zoom on on kind of either of those areas? I Ooh. do. Here or here? Got a nice little brittle star down there as well. So okay, go for zoom. Okay. I think either of, those are, either of those areas are doable, and we can just like poke okay. them both. Let's see. How big do we think? Is that about 10 centimeters, this one here? Uh, looks like it. Looks, uh, like, it. looks yes. like it might be a little buried. It might surprise us, but it's okay. worth a try. Yeah. Um, that one looks like the m the least sediment covered that I'm seeing. Okay. So, start there. Yeah, let's start with that. Let's try. We'll get a nice zoom first before disturbing okay. it. Go full zoom on that rock. Yeah, there you go. Is that what you're looking for, zoom wise? Looks to That's be perfect. Attached to my view. It it's possible. Let's poke it. We can <laughs> take a look. I did the power and I did the Chat the DC the sense. Images, we'll so yeah, we're good. Okay, go wide. Thank you. Nia Elise says hello. Oh hi Elise. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> It's not clear to me how far below the vehicle these actually are. That could be a ways down there. Yeah, that's a good question. Oh. Uh, pilots, we've yeah. got a really slight heading change coming in from the ship. Raj. Oh, all the other rocks are moving. <laughs> <laughs> the poor, poor brittle star. Sorry, I'm moving us around. Give me <laughs> this rock. Nope, not that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> attached. I think that's yeah. attached. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, let's... Uh, Let's zoom out a little bit and maybe look over in in the Argus view. There's looks like there's a bunch more rocks off to the starboard side or kind of right in front of us. Maybe we could go look over there and see if there's any less sediment covered rocks. Seems like we have a lot of options, so <laughs> we've got Yeah, we've got some time. Maybe, yeah, yeah, a little bit more up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm looking at that patch in Argus, and it, hopefully we'll see something there. Ooh, this has lots of rocks in mm -hmm. it. Yeah, very rocky. Okay. okay, those look a little small. Yeah, maybe up up here, those look a little bit more. But but if there's less one sediment. kind of hiding behind a big one with I, less sediment, that I, might yeah, be I good. Less sediment is what I yeah. think. Yeah. yeah. Or no, that's probably too big. Yeah. The, these yeah. are more attached. Okay. 
Oh, we've stirred it. Okay. Um, that's okay. Can we can we take a look at this area? Or? We keep getting really close to the telestrator, <laughs> as though we're going to see better. Yeah, that's close true. Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or this one. Yeah, that Maybe. one's probably sub ten, but just barely. Yeah. Is this a loose rock? Okay, maybe we could get a zoom on that. Yeah, spend a few coins. <laughs> okay, and mm. can we zoom out a little bit also? There's one off to the port. Yeah, what about this one? Is that too big? That looks huge from this view. Mm. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That Nice. Um, that's looking pretty good, I think. So let's get a zoom on that. Yeah, yeah. Once you're once you're all set up. Gotcha. Um, can Do we, we get, zoom? yeah, can we get a zoom uh, before you touch it? Not touching. Halted. Okay. okay. Maybe, um, a little bit out so we have the lasers fully in the shot. Perfect. Right there. All right, got a couple. Perfect. Thank you. Poke away. Do y'all have a place in mind that you want it? Yes. How about starboard B? Okay. Sounds good. That's one of the little ones. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if it ends up being too big, we can go for starboard F. Great. And that's the back big one? Yes. No. Oh, oh. that's oh. half a rock. Oh. oh. Well. <laughs> it's quite friable. <laughs> what does that mean for its validity as coral sa uh, corally sample? Um, can we sh yeah, shake it off and get a zoom on that? A little bit. Yeah. Um, video zoom. Look at that alteration. I can give it a spin. Sorry. Thanks. Um. Then I'll get the dust off of it. Yeah. You know, I. I get, we can do better, maybe. Yeah. Let's. Just because I'm not, I'm not completely sure if she would be happy with that. Let's try to find one that doesn't just fall apart when we grab it. <laughs> <laughs> so go wide. But, but that was a good effort. Yeah. So thank you. No problem. We've got an abundance of choices here, so <laughs> <laughs> we get to be a little bit picky. Oops, sorry, that was me. Just halted. Isn't there a whole thing about the paradox of choice where like the more choices you have, the harder it is to pick? Yes. Exactly. Yes. yes. 
What's that? Decision anxiety. Decision anxiety. <laughs> People are happier when they have one choice. <laughs> <laughs> the more choice you have, the more I think you the can same. Pick out the yeah, I think the same could be said that. of uh, opera RV operators and scientists. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where do we want to go? Um, let's let's see. Uh, in in the Argus view, yep. there's this kind of stream of of choices that we have. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just keep going up it a little bit. Okay. So we're out of the dust. We have plenty of um if you have a sec, can you come yeah. up on Argus just a bit? Yeah. Now, do we have current here, or is yep. this just because we stirred up? Okay. We have a current, and that's why the dust, even when we stir it up, blows out. If you have really still water, that dust will never go anywhere. And like once you've stirred it up, you just can't work there anymore. <laughs> it's really <laughs> frustrating. We've got a coral here, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe a little Can bamboo? we get a little zoom on that? Just a wee little zoom. A wee go little for zoom. zoom. Just a tiny zoom. Nice. <laughs> Just such a small zoom. It's still That's a zoom. <laughs> still counts. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, go wide. Um, okay. okay. So, yeah, I'm I'm seeing something. I'm kind of navigating with the Argus view. Yeah, sure. Right, right in front of, right in front of Herc, a little bit further yep. up. There's it looks like some darker rocks. Yeah, exactly. Right up here. Let's take a look at those. So why does it? Why does she want things that aren't sedimented? Does that mean something for how the manganese is yes, building? Yes, exactly. So um, it's a weathering process with the rock, but the rock needs to be exposed to the seawater. So if it's sediment covered, um, yeah. So let's look around here. Oh, there's some beauty ones yes, here. Yes, this is a great spot. Let's get a zoom in like this area. Yeah, I'm with you. Perfect. Good for Zoom? Yeah, I think so. Good for Zoom? Uh, stand by one. Raj. Just trying to... I think I balanced on like the teeniest little marble imaginable. I was aiming for like a really big fucking <laughs> rock and I'm on like a pebble. Um, okay, go for Zoom. <laughs> Sorry. No worries. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Maybe... This one looks like it's a, maybe 15 centimeters. Yeah, I'd buy that. Yeah. Um, this one this one also looks kind of interesting. It looks a little bit less sediment covered down here. Mm -hmm. um, I actually wouldn't mind trying for both, one being a Coralie and one yeah. being for me. Perfect. This area all looks to be, say, morphologically speaking okay. for the rocks. So. Let's, let's do that. So... Let's, um, can we get a little bit closer zoom on both this one and this one? And then we're going to try to do a sample of each of those. Is that okay. one or two samples? Um, go for zoom. Might I suggest, yes. though it is entirely up to you, that these Ooh. both go in the same big box. Um, yes, that's yeah. totally fine. I'm not sure. Will we be able to do the one to the right? It has a brittle star associated with it. Um, yeah, maybe we shouldn't do that one. So stick to the one on the left? Yeah, so let's stick to getting that one. Okay. Um, and then we can look around for another one. Yeah, I can sacrifice that one to Coralie if she would like it. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Let's make sure we're set up to actually do it. <laughs> um, I shift over just a little bit, make it less of an awkward spot. So since it's the one. Just one rock. Okay, so just same thing as before? Yeah. Okay. game here is don't bash the sexton <laughs> <laughs> and land nicely and neatly. 
Uh, kind of like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're winning the game, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> Can you okay. point to it again just to make sure I've got the right rock in mind? Oh, yep. This? Exactly, yeah, that one. Okay, Raj. The one with the dark underside that has less sediment. <laughs> Can you give it to me in, in the bubble cam also? Thank you. All. Yeah, sure. Okay. Hmm. You lose interest? You want me to keep poking at it? Um. I don't mind poking. Yeah, let's see if we can get the bigger part. Okay. How much force do the jaws have? I'm curious how crumbly the rocks are versus um, how strong the jaws how, are. Yeah, ooh, how incredibly ooh, strong one. the jaws are. That looks great. Can we, yeah, get it out of the dust and get it zoomed? Okay. Let's get that there. Well, I'm halted there. Do you want to just kind of wait for that to settle out? Yeah. Or bring it up closer. a bit. Where is the light field? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. I'm just talking to myself over here. Um, <laughs> are we, yeah, we're full wide. Okay. So you can give it a little zoom so we can take a look at it. It's got like this beautiful gradient on it. Yeah, what an interesting pattern. It's like a rust. Yeah, that's a oxidation gradient, a weather. So, okay, this looks, yeah, this looks pretty good. I think we should go for this. Okay. Let's, let's um. Let's keep it. Starboard bio box. Um, uh yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go with B. B. Um, and if it doesn't fit F, still. Yes. Video come wide. Sample salvo coming up. Ready. Never mind. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Not exactly. There you go. Okay, B. Is that what they said? I'll come, yes. yes, I'll come out a little more. B is second one back on the inboard side.
Thank you for tuning in, North Prairie, Wisconsin. Tammy Gomez is a video engineer. <laughs> yes. So I have to go now? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, I landed. believe Jesus did this as well on the last watch. <laughs> it's, it's perched in, in a lovely spot. I think we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, just leave the box open. <laughs> Nice grab. Well, that was yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Do you think it'll fit, or should I pick a different box? You can go in I, F. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just go There's for There's a lot of boxes <laughs> open, and yeah. There's no need to suffer. <laughs> it's like, I'm not about that. <laughs> Swish. Sweet. Woo. Beauty. Nice job. Nice. Crushed it. All right. So we are going to look for an angular rock for amber. Yes, I actually reevaluated a little bit. We ah. can probably keep moving. You ready for, for a the bit, regular? And I'll yeah. keep my eye out. Gotcha. Uh, Raj, let's uh, <laughs> keep and keep moving up towards waypoint two. Then. <laughs> so comical. <laughs> Why are you laughing? So whenever we switch back and forth between what cameras we want to look at, um, there's an automated se automated sequence that the cameras switch in. We just have to press one button and it switches like half a dozen cameras. Um, but whenever we switch, so there's one specifically for sampling that shows us the starboard bio box and like all the things we want to look at. Um, that's not at all useful. We can't see anything about what's in front of us. So it's not at all useful when we're driving around. Oh. Um, we also have cameras on the, on the back of the vehicle, like specifically one called butt cam. <laughs> and um, we switched back from sample salvo to our regular like drive forward salvo and it puts butt cam up there every single time. And it is the <laughs> least useful camera that we could possibly have for driving forward and moving on with our lives. And it just <laughs> looks silly. <laughs> Good to know. Here, I thought you were laughing at me. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I mean, if anything, we're laughing at Ryan. <laughs> oh. Oh. Could we to it has nothing to do with there. Ryan. It's <laughs> automated. It's <laughs> way That's your point too. Hello, I'm here. Different. I will be scapegoat. <laughs> <laughs> Roger. Oh, by the way, little round of applause for our pilots for that collection of the sponge earlier. Chris Kelly just came back on the chat and was looking at it. And he said, great job. And likely it'll turn out to be something new. Cool. We have someone in the audience who would like to know what is the importance of the oxidation gradient on the rock sample? Shall we proceed? We are. Moving. Excellent. We're getting moving at least. Cool. We're working on it. Are we going to be moving at point two or what's the plan? Yes, 0 0.2 knots. We're Perfect. doing uh, step 20 meters, bearing 071. Excellent. Um, so one of our scientists on the ship, Coralie Rodriguez, is interested in studying the the crusts that form on these volcanic rocks. And these are ferromanganese um, crusts. And what we were seeing there, oh. Can we zoom? Do we have any coins for zoom? Yeah, Sorry we sure do. Interruption. Yeah, excellent. Also, what's our heading? Uh, our bearing is Sorry. 07. One zero seven one. Uh, our heading is. No, no, I meant I meant our bearing. Raj. I meant what should my heading be? Is what I meant. <laughs> Raj, Raj. Zero we, seven one. We just got very much heavier. Thanks for the, the periodic reballasting science. Uh, <laughs> go for zoom. You're welcome. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> way to, to call it. <laughs> do you want to pitch a plate? Uh, actually, I do because our z bias is like, twelve. Yeah. 
Okay. That is a great idea. Thank you for that. I think I probably would have struggled on for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> Too heavy. <laughs> Let's pitch a plate. Okay. Do you guys have what you need there? Yep. Okay. Thank you. Go wide. Yeah, go for it. Okay, Raj. I'll it's all you. I'm just going to keep doing my thing. Craft's coming back on, and the things are going back off. So, Gabby, when you see your Z value, yeah, is that, um, I mean, I understand what the Z axis is. Yeah. But what is the value? So, it's actually a totally arbitrary, united whatever for our purposes. But mm -hmm. when I refer to the Z bias, the it Z refers bias. to, I have the... Um, you can tell the vehicle to just always be fighting our buoyancy a little bit. Mm -hmm. And oh, what that helps with is um, if you're constantly just sort of um, applying a little bit of down, um, when you go to drive up and down, you're just making little adjustments as opposed to going from zero to lots of thrust. And it very much like smooths out your um, you're tuning when you're trying to get like really delicate zooms because right. you've already got like all of the Z bias on that you need to just be totally neutral. You look, you feel like you're neutral. So like you go dead stick and the vehicle just sort of stays wherever you were and just makes for nice pretty zooms. So um, which, is it a two stack on the uh, starboard side it's and a single on the right? I mean, yes, sorry, port? correct. Okay, so port side or starboard side, do you want me to pull? Uh, doesn't matter. Whichever one's going to work for you. Oh, Raj. But th they're different, right? There's, uh, there are two separate ones on the port side and one on the starboard side. Oh, uh, Raj. So you want both on port or one on starboard? Or it still doesn't matter? Doesn't matter. Just, just take one. Just take one just off. Just throw it out. Raj, I was going to ask you to help me with, with the cam. Okay. Yeah. So we're actually reacting a little bit. Okay. So that's probably making it more difficult for you. Uh, can you go wide on Zeus? Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Yar, that is better. <laughs> That's way better. Okay. Um, okay, what's your poison? Just pick one. Okay, Raj. Just pick one. Just do it. And then also, do you want me to like fix the scoop while it just hangs in the balance there? I do. <laughs> yeah, okay, Raj. <laughs> <laughs> you read my mind. <laughs> like the that is exactly what I want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, if you don't mind, I'm going to keep moving doing things okay it shouldn't have too much bearing when you go to move the scoop it's still attached so you might be able to just nudge it right. um it would be nice to keep the, the zip tie still attached Raj, it would um but if it's not it's not okay 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 let's come here Who's moving this ship? Actually, can you stop? Uh, just <laughs> just hold up. Yes, I feel yeah. a little bit off kilter here. Okay, Raj. I'm coming up on uh, the winch. Ooh. And um, hold on. I'm halted. I'm halted. There we go. I feel less off kilter now. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yep, okay, go Raj. for it. Do your thing. <laughs> I'm just going to keep up with the ship and keep up with Argus. <laughs> and uh, which one do you think you're going to go for? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> it's funny how I can reach the suction sampler all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it, though? <laughs> <laughs> like completely unintentionally huh? actually um i was gonna go for the one near the section sampler just as like practice okay for, sounds great for, for that particular that place area yes. yeah totally and because you're gonna be right there you might even like accidentally do it you might even start with this the scoop just because i think it's well do your thing okay i um i'm just like a little bit conscious of my shoulder you know um oh you're talking about the stickiness yeah no well no not the stickiness like the, oh, like if it gets stuck, stuck, stuckiness. It can't get stuck here because your elbow's not up. Okay, Raj. Get out of here. You think that's Ooh, better? That might or be like, a little coral down there. I mean, it's there. more attached to the magnet than it was. Yep. Okay. It is. So uh, it may not be better for you and your grab, but that's up to you, Raj. Our ROV pilots, we have a question for you. Um, 
someone just received their degree in mechanical engineering. Sweet, Ooh. congratulations. And they wanted to know, do you just start or is there a training process? Yes and yes. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it depends what kind of job you get. So with a mechanical engineering degree, you might go work at a company that operates ROVs, um, either in industry or in research. Um, and a lot of the training for ROVs happens on the job. Um, especially if you're an engineer, you're, you know, you're working full time, you're designing parts for the vehicle, you're, you know, figuring out how to improve systems, and then you'll go out and deploy. Um, and you're going to learn both things on the job, but it's going to be based a lot on the education you got uh, as a mechanical engineer. So, you know, you go in and you kind of like think that you know a lot about engineering because you went to school for it for a very long time, Oops. speaking for a friend, of course, um, and then you find that uh, you don't really know anything until you spend a couple years on the job. Yeah. Nice, beautiful job. Oh. <laughs> I just nudged the scoop back. Ooh, stocked crinoid. No. I think uh, I think that Beautiful. holds true for a lot of the roles on board. Um, it's stuck now. Okay. Going to sea is something that is sort of singular, and often most of the job is learned once you're already there, I would say. Whatever. It's stuck. It's stuck enough. Yeah, another way to get a good tap on that might yeah. be to actually go to the body of the scoop. Oh, um, Raj. Uh, pilots, are we good to keep heading up? Absolutely. Bridge, no? Do that with a yaw. Oh, you're stuck on the porch. Yaw out. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Bridge, uh, could we step to zero meters bearing you're also zero totally seven fine zero if, if you're, at a speed of zero point two knots? No. Okay. No. <laughs> now I am. <laughs> okay, cool. Great. Nice Just job. Just one more touch. <laughs> yeah. Someone would like to know how are these organisms strong enough to not be crushed by pressure? Well, now I know that, right? <laughs> I don't think I'll ever forget that. I think oh. they've just adapted <laughs> to be that way, and um, I don't know. Sponges kind of feel Looks like a airy-ish. Yeah. Um, I don't know how quite to me. describe it, but they're very light when you like hold one, so I think that also has helped with their structure. Hey, pilots, can we get a look at this uh, crinoid or whatever this creature is over here? Yeah, it looks like he has a very long stock. Uh, our, our bearing is Ooh. currently... It's a large crinoid. Yeah. It's okay. Um, just FYI, I got another 14650. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> no worries. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to come up a little bridge now. It's a very long stalk. Ooh. Could we increase speed to 0 0.3 knots? Science, we're going to try going just a little faster because it's getting a little lumpier out. Um, if sure. that ends up not working and you're not getting the zooms you want, um, we will slow back down. That sounds but good. But if we can do everything and still keep below that uh, 15,000 mark, then that's golden. Okay, perfect. Uh, for now, I was going to stick with our 20 meter steps. Perfect. Unless we want to sort of Great. pick that pace up as well. Yeah, let's try it. Perfect. And then the next Coralie sample will be at... 3,500 okay. meters. Raj. We are. Is there any plans in between there besides opportunistic sampling and zooms? 
Um, if yeah, op opportunistic for both Amber's rock and any other possible biology s sampling. So yeah. Okay. We'll just look around. Oh, um, can I do a gauge check first? Yeah. You're tugging on me. One of our scientists ashore, Chris Kelly, has written in and told us that that sponge might be something that we collected earlier. It's likely something new, and everyone's very excited about it. So That's awesome. Yay. Really great, great That's job exciting. with that. A uh, step two zero meters bearing zero seven zero at zero point three knots. We're going to switch roles up here. Kylie's going to take the Herc seat. Sounds good. I'm going to take Ooh. Argus and Arm. Excellent. Do we have any coins in the sample bank? I'll Ooh. ask again when they're uh, For a rock? Yeah. OK. You see a good one? Yep. Um, here, make it a circle. <laughs> yeah, that one looks good. Bridge, Nav. Could we hold position? Yeah. Okay, where were you guys interested? All right, I was thinking right, that little rock right there. If we can get the lasers on it and see how big it is, and then I think I'd like a collection if possible. Okay. Point to it again for me. Sounds good. 
That little guy? Yeah, yeah, this guy. Right next to the lasers. Yes. Orange. Looks about 10 yeah. centimeters. Yeah. yeah. He looks good. Can we try on him? Try collecting him, I mean. <laughs> or them, or it. Maybe it is correct here. Hmm. So I should push in, down, and stick walk? Raj. Um, can you come wide, uh, video? Okay. 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 Huh. What's up? I'm going down, but I'm not really going down. You're in auto depth. Oh, Raj. Raj. <laughs> That'll do it. Mm -hmm. Hey, okay, so I have a question then. Yep. Sure. Just go for it. That's what it's really it's that's when it's really good to look in the bubble. Can you circle the rock again, please? Uh it's down below our okay. view at the moment. Uh you could uh tilt down. <laughs> We pitched a plate and you can put some more Z bias on. Uh, why don't you drive forward? And we see the rock. Nice. Look very rocky. And just go right in there. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to describe a rock. That's all you're getting from me. <laughs> and then drive right down to the bottom. Slower. It's okay. It, we won't hurt anything. The vehicle can definitely handle a bit of a landing. Perfect. Great. Down. Nope, that's up. You're okay. Okay, I'll look at the, here. You're great. Heading, not auto depth. There you go. It's okay. You got some forward on with your, uh... there you go. Nice. Do you have auto head on? Okay, great. That was great. It's, this particular position is tough and but that's fine. Is this our guy here? Yes. Let's see if he's stuck or not. 
R1, R it. <laughs> the one rock to rule them all. <laughs> yeah. Nope, not stuck. Woohoo! Shaking off some of that dust. Okay. Um, the next thing that has to happen is um, if it's okay to leave this area, I'd like to get Herc caught up a little bit um, before we sort of do the housekeeping on the rock. That would be fine with me. Okay. Yeah. Are you okay? I can get the, yeah. I can get this a little out of your way. But um, let's get Herc a little caught up. And. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, but make sure you square your camera up to the front of the vehicle before you take off. That takes so long. You did great with that landing. There was. You could say an, uh, an angular basalt rock. Gotcha. I got angular in there. <laughs> okay. My rock is like a comet. <laughs> <laughs> it has a dust tail. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to know, have the ROVs ever collided? Ooh. With each other? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, yeah, that probably will be unlikely since. I think that's something we try oh, I, very, know I watch very anyway. hard to prevent. <laughs> I've right. never seen that. I don't know. Have, I don't have any <laughs> stories related to that. I think you're off SPL, Gab. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you. Guess that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we will definitely let Megan know that she has a fan that says hello. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, hello. So how you can I set you up to... Of course they do. Megan fan club. <laughs> <laughs> Been on for how many years now? Eight years. Eight I years. I feel like that's enough time to build up <laughs> to build a fan club. club. Mm -hmm. I guess it's possible. And then when you get there, it might be helpful to just um, you want to be close enough to the bottom that you're going to get all four Doppler um, beams, yeah, like nicely locked. Yeah. And then you can just stick yourself in all three autos, and. Um, if you're willing, you could run the hydraulics for stowing this. Okay. Um, or I could do it. Yeah. Just depends on what Is you want. Is that good? Uh, yeah, just All watch them autos. for a second. See Look how your it thrusters. Yeah. Happy? I think so. Great. Mm -hmm. Sounds yeah. good. Let's okay. stow it. Okay, Raj. Um, first, we need to look at it, so...
Go for Zoom video. Welcome, Canada. Thank you for tuning in to Nautilus Live. Um, how do we feel about this? Good enough images here? Yep. Okay, uh, great. If you want to try for starboard B again. Okay. Okay, great spot go away. Thank you. I can switch when you're ready. Yep, go for it. Sample. And I'll change that camera. Is there a story behind the name Argus? Someone in the audience wants to yeah, know. Yeah, there totally is. Yeah, they're wondering if the name was a reference. It is. It's a reference to um, a guardian, a Greek god who was a guardian who was covered in eyeballs. Hundreds of yeah. I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> eyeballs. Hundreds of eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> Which is sort of how Argus functions for us. Mm. So many eyeballs. Yeah. Is this starboard side? Yeah. Raj. There is no bio box on port side. Oh, nice. We there's just there's skins though. Them. There's no skins on the port side. To the other kind of sample. Woo, Beautiful. Good job. Nice job. Nice. Way to go. Coming on nice in. Nice work. All right. I'm um, so glad we don't have as much sediment here. In so many lovely pillow basalts. In the interest of cable yeah. tension, should we uh, cruise? Ah, uh, yeah. Just give me one second here. Okay, I am ready to proceed. All right, Roger. I will call it in. Bridge, huh? Hey Alexi, could we step two zero meters bearing zero seven one at a speed of zero point three knots? Okay. Good job. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to turn on the ground. I'm going to turn on the ground fault detection and turn off the craft. Roger. Can you also change? Uh, never mind, you already did it. You change the camera. You clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> but good. I just read your mind is yeah. all. <laughs> like what would an Argus pilot do? <laughs> I'm an Argus pilot at heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Will always be. Yeah. Do uh, most people start off with piloting Argus before moving up to Hurt? Yeah, that's kind of like the way the training works. Um, when you sit in the seat, you get a lot of sort of big picture feeling for how things are going. You learn how to see small problems in the system just out of the corner of your eye um, and solve them. And uh, the control inputs are slightly less complex over here as far as like actually moving the vehicle around. But I would say the sensory inputs, like all the cameras you have to watch and the systems you have to keep an eye on are very complex. Um, and it's a great place to start. Um, Can we but, get a zoom on, yeah, on this right here? Yeah. But um, you do that for a couple years and then you start spending a lot more time um, actually in the Herc seat with somebody who's a little bit more experienced sitting in the Argus seat. Gotcha. Um, and you start piloting and learning things 
Video with zoom. all those control inputs that you're now using to fly Herc around. Oh, is he? So spinning? I was an Argus pilot last year, um, and there. for four year, four or five years before that. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. What are we looking at right now? A stocked crinoid. But it looks like it's free floating. Or it might a have another one on the end. Zoom. It looks it like there's like a, a brittle star, star at the base. Yeah. yeah. And maybe. It looks attached to rock. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's just kind of the angle's a little. Mm. That brittle Odd. star is really wrapped up on there. Yep. They can really hold on. I love how fast they move. Speedy little spindles. Come live. Do you need any more of that? No, I think we're good with that. Okay. Thanks. Bridge, huh? Could we step to zero meters, bearing zero seven one? You can always go to nautiluslive.org and check out each of the expedition seasons to see the dates. Such lovely pillow basalts. <laughs> Perfectly round. There's that interesting one right in the middle in the lasers where it looks like it's sort of almost exploded. Yeah, yeah that's sort of quintessential for how they'll look if they're not, uh, if the outer rim isn't fully intact. The interior, interior will look something like that. Interesting. It's like a radial fracturing. Yeah. Yes. Do you all happen to know who named the ROVs? Was it the same person or different people? Good question. Um, Gabby, do you know? Was it Todd or the team that put it together? Was it Bob? Um, I couldn't tell you exactly. I imagine it came from the top of the organization. At the time, it would have been, I think, Institute for Exploration, IFE. Um, which had con some connections with Woods Hole and University of Rhode Island and Mystic Aquarium. Um, the vehicles were built at, physically at Woods Hole. Mark was there. There are pictures of Mark building Hercules, putting what are you pieces looking at? on the frame. There's something here. I'm I bet, um, it might be a crinoid, but Bob I'm not Ballard sure. had something to do with naming I think that's just sediment in a crack. Yeah. I'm just saying sediment. Yeah, I'm not saying Disregard anything. Disregard my telestrator. Roger. <laughs> Video zoom. Oh. Closer. A shrimp. Mm -hmm. A little guy. <laughs> little, little shrimp. Shrimpy shrimp. Oops. Come wide. Wow. To look at. Pretty right. regular amount of exposed uh, rocks in Argus. Ooh, yes. We're in a big, big field of them. Although, Looks with like all these rocks, I would almost expect more biology. Sort of the rounding we out on this ridge here still. in the next few contours. So while we would hopefully be seeing biology down here, uh, once we get up a little shallower, not much shallower, but Stop the speed. Yeah. Hopefully, we're seeing more. 
hopefully we'll see some interesting things in the next little bit. We're going to approach the peak of this little area quite soon and then drop down into a valley. Um, was Corley's next sample depth 3550 or 3500? 3500. 3, yeah, we're going every 95 meters, so. Okay. Or, yeah, Am I wide on uh, Zeus? Oh, hey. There you are. You can push past that. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty good, Chef. Could we step to zero meters bearing zero seven two? Someone in the audience would like to know, is the amount of biology typically visible dependent upon whether it is day or night? Video zoom? Um, since we're so deep, uh, day or night won't matter too much. Do you have more? It's just kind of whether or not it's there and its size. So nice. there's definitely some biology here. We just can't see it. Mm, yep. Especially in things like the sediment. I think that's a sea urchin. Yeah, it looks like something similar to what we saw earlier. Yeah. And then what was the, the white, white thing next to it? That looked like a Oops. shell, but I, I couldn't quite see. Sorry. Yeah, I keep thinking about the vertebrae that I we know. saw the other day. <laughs> so that was really cool. So anything white in the sediment, I tend to... Sure. Also, is this anything right here? Could um, we maybe do a quick? Uh, I actually uh, don't even see I it anymore. I don't see anything. I'm just seeing yeah, sediment. Yeah, just sediment. <laughs> But things are pretty good at blending into sediment. Yeah, it's a lot of good camouflage. Hmm. I'm getting Argus jumping around a lot in the uh, Sonardyne, or in the oh, yeah. Robnab. Yeah, I was just looking at that as well. Um, one thing I'm thinking about is sometimes that's like uh, bathymetry. Sometimes that's could be, there's some hypothesizing that that might be like prop wash or just, you know, the, you know, Bathymetry versus the ge like the Noise. geometry of the three the the vehicle and the ship and the bathymetry all together. Right. Um, I'm not too worried about it. One thing I was thinking is that Herc is also <laughs> a little bit goofy a right now. Jumpy, yeah. But the next time we get a good s cluster of fixes, we can do a Doppler reset, and that will help us sort of know. And then we can stick the master position on Doppler. Might just know where we are a little bit better. Roger. Our master position is currently Doppler, yeah? Uh, you're right. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We'll just do a little reset if we uh, yeah, get a good opportunity. <laughs> hey. Yep. Okay, Raj. Huh? <laughs> Um, so my um, what time does it know? Twenty eight twelve uh, UTC. Sorry, sorry, not twenty eight twelve zero zero twenty eight. The twenty eight the twelve is the seconds. Expedition lead and ROV lead. ROV and uh, Chief Sai. I think they talk.
Amber, would you like to let the audience know how we're able to tell the age of the coral samples that are collected at this depth? Um, I think we actually have to halt on talking for just a few minutes, so I can get back to that in just a bit. Okay. So we'll, we might go quiet for just a okay. few minutes as we sort things out a little bit. Oh, just come up. Just come up. I mean, for me to come up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So one thing you can, one thing you can look at is here, the very. Yeah, but this is going to measure, to the degree that it's beam. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you for calling my attention to it. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, sorry, Nia, were you saying something? Uh, no, um, we're not getting, we're not getting great USBL right now. So it's not, we're not going to get anything to do a reset on. So I, I'm going to keep an eye on it. And if we start to get good USBL, then we'll, we'll do something about it. But right now I think we're just trying to come up. You can just scroll back. Yeah, okay, great. Thank you. It's fine. It's about what it's been the whole time. That was just one, one wave. Okay, good to know. Steve has been notified. He's letting Emil know. Okay, great. Thank you so much for starting that process. No worries. Um, it would be good to make sure ROV la lead knows as well. Yeah, they're okay. supposed to then talk with the ROV okay. team. Are you? Oh, okay. Pretty Thank sure. you.
Could we step two zero meters bearing zero seven four? Ooh, that's a cool coral. Very nice. I think that maybe um, you can increase your Z bias a little bit. That might be why you're coming up. Um, I hadn't. I didn't increase it again when we took when we pitched the plate. If possible. Oh, okay. So keep. Uh, you want to keep going farther minus. You're. You're hoping that it's going to be around minus twenty to minus thirty now. Could we maybe get a zoom on these, if possible? Oh, is that a zoom or a sample science? Just a zoom. Raj. That's nice. Beautiful zoom. Mm -hmm. What's that? Um, yeah, maybe a little bit. Might be time to, yeah. I'm not sure why you're so quiet. I really am struggling to hear you here. Yeah, maybe uh, turn to your port a little bit. There you go. So we're tail to tail now? Okay. So, okay. Uh, you can back down, straight back. So first of all, get an eye on your, um, Figure out what your heading is. Go straight back. And when you think you have a little bit of slack, get on Argus's heading. That's... So, um, but my heading is still, it's still reporting my absolute heading. So just, once you come back, so keep backing up until my heading matches um, Yeah. It's set at 135. Yeah. Um but you want to keep coming back until um Totally. And I'm coming up to give you a little room here. Um, pilots, we okay. have about... Yeah, I think... Um, we're just getting a little bit... Uh, so st stop backing down for a second. Yeah. And let's get, let's figure out where we are. It's a little tough without the sonar dyne. You want sonar Are you, okay, uh, get out of auto heading. We'll get this sorted out. Let's, let's get ourselves in a known configuration. Okay, beautiful. You can see uh, you can see Argus and her butt. So now we know where we are. Um, we're well off the bottom. That's good. Bridge now. 
Let's let it settle out a bit. Could we step one zero meters bearing zero seven three? Um, actually, can you hold that step, please? Yeah, Roger. Yeah, just hold, hold position. Bridge nav, uh, can we hold position? We are actually finally getting some better uh, USBL fixes, too. Roger. Uh, we are coming up on our 3,500 meter sample. Okay, so yeah. we'll stay still. We're also well off the bottom right now. Yeah. So. Um, okay, now is a good time to back down. Just try and keep your heading as you back down. Yeah, yeah that's it. You're, you're already it. Yeah, and auto depth actually would probably be helpful too. And auto heading? Okay, great. Uh, get out of auto XY though. That's not going to be helpful. Yep. So you and I are both staying at the same depth, backing up until you can see yourself in there, and you know the rest of the drill. Go ahead, Bridge. Okay, sounds good. Roger that, let me check in. Uh, hey team, we just got word from the Rocks and one slurp.
Uh, if we have enough mobility, we could cruise around and maybe look for some corally rocks also. Be a, a good thing for us to do, yeah. We are not quite at the depth, but pretty darn close. You're quiet. Do you see one you like? So we're, we're possibly able to sample or how are, how are things looking? Oh, we could take a sample kind of in this vicinity. I'm currently holding position on request of the bridge. Gotcha. But uh, if we see something we like here, we're about 20 meters off of Coralie's uh, 3,500 meter goal, um, but we do have a little bit of mobility to okay. you know, make that work. Sounds good. So as far as our mobility with relation to the ship, can we go up slope any more or? Y yeah. Just a, if we can go up slope a touch more and then look around, I think getting a rock before um, going off bottom would be, would be great, even if we're a little bit short of the 3,500. Okay. And maybe um, towards your starboard side, it looks like, in Argus, rocks. there's more rocks. Oh, fish. Yeah, it looks like we're about to come up on several rocks. That looks good. Oh, there's some cool trails in there. There might be some sea pens or little corals down there too. Nice. Maybe um, something over here or over there. These look a little bit less. Oh yeah, and over here I maybe. I like that guy over here. You like that one? Yeah. Okay, cool. We can. What do you think? So some of these are going to be out of reach, but we can go tail to tail and come down and see what we can do. All right. OK. 
can we come close? Like, oh, can we? Could we do a more tight delta since yeah. you're still come, so high? Yeah. Well, come even down, if, go tail to tail. Do we still need to have to go tail to tail since you're 30 meters up technically? And Maybe not. Just, just, just sure. let level them, sort of. Sure. These um, are these are kind of a waste away, but start heading for them, and we'll do what we need to do to get there. Okay. Oh, you think? Oh, we, you think even after? interested in this one. Raj. I have no idea. I understand uh, what you're saying. Actually, uh, yeah, that does. Can you circle stuff? Yeah. Right around here would be perfect. Okay, Raj. Yeah. If they I don't mean to backseat drive your pilots, but is loose. that spike? Thank you. Fifteen. Good no, eye. we yeah we need your eyes. <laughs> you. That's Thank why you. you're up here with us. Raj. Okay. Zero zero five four for time. Um, this one looks pretty good, right here. Um, but also, that one could be good. Or maybe that one. Hey, Bob. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna start a recovery. Yeah, Nav. Um, so. Gabby? Yeah, what's up? Is it um, is it possible for us to just pop a Niskin? We don't need to go anywhere, just where we are? Uh, if yeah. It's, if, it's, if it's not a good moment, we can just skip it, but... If we are, we're waiting officially on the call to recover, right? We... I don't think we should bother with a rock right now. I think that's going to take too long um, since uh, we've been told that we should recover now. But if there's time to do anything, doing just a quick Niskin would be great, but no worries if that's not making sense right now.
Yeah, I, I've been told we need to recover from Emil. He said to proceed with the recovery, yes. That's what that's what we're doing, yep. Okay, Emil also just said that it's it's fine that we can do a Niskin and then recover. Yeah, he just just wrote into us now, so. But we'll definitely skip the rock. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Um, we're gonna do a Niskin and then recover, and Emil is good with all of that. Thank you. So Niskins are a water sample. Um, are they generally used in conjunction with biology, or are they dispersed amongst the scientific community? What, what's uh, the... Uh, were you just asking about the Niskin? Yeah. Yeah, usually um, we've, been, we've been doing eDNA analysis for a while now. So it's environmental DNA. We work with a scientist, Meredith Everett, who... Um, has been collaborating with us for a while on that. And basically we're filtering out some water to see what kind of DNA is in the water. So um, it's often something we do above an area where there's quite a few corals or sponges or biology, um, but we're just kind of doing one now to grab another sample to see if we see anything in this area. There's not anything quite specific here, but it's an opportunity to get one more sample. Roger. Uh, when we uh, do what them above was that? a coral or sponge, Thank you. are we looking for the DNA from those Data, did you copy that? That was number three. Yep. Oh, yeah, I got are you. Are we looking Thank for you. Uh, DNA from things they might be filtering or both? Yeah, it's kind of anything in the in the general environment. So just as people and, uh, you know, shed hair or, or little traces of ourselves when we move through spaces, all so sorts I of think animals I'm also do too. Pitch a plate. Roger. Sort of a, a contextual measurement. Yeah, and it's a nice yeah. way to get. Just, yeah. I just made that decision. Sorry about that. Yeah. It's a nice way to get a sense of who's there without actually having to take a sample either. So it's kind of mm -hmm. environmentally friendly in some ways. Yeah. And also an environmental look at who's in the area. Very low impact. Exactly. Awesome. We can do some nice tests by also collecting samples that are there and Niskins and seeing Good. how they correlate. Yeah, I could see that being really interesting. And some, some creatures that are uh, moving around, they're quite difficult to sample. So we can also see if there's been some kind of fish or something else moving through the area. Um, so the ROV is, is loud and bright. 
when we do these Niskin and then look at the DNA, do we get a more complete picture of sort of the animals that might be in the ecosystem when the ROV is not, that it scares away? That's a great question. Um, I think so, if they were there recently. Um, I would think that some of these little traces of creatures passing through an area would eventually fall down to the sediment, but um, if there are things moving around here regularly, I'm sure we would get a, a nice signature of that. A little footprint. Yeah, exactly. It also so, like kind of shows if any information of what we can't get on screen. So exactly, yeah. We only have so much in our field of view, but I think the water sample can collect a much wider range. Totally. I, sorry, uh, what'd you say? I think we'll try just the one and see how it goes. At some point on the way up, we also have to stash the scoop, but I think we can do it while we're... Oh, it's still zip-tied, isn't it? Yeah, awesome. We don't even have to do that. Great. Yeah. I know. <laughs> the rules. Dems to rules. <laughs> Keep to the code. Keep to the... <laughs> This that's is the way. Of, that's Game of Thrones. <laughs> or I have spoken. <laughs> this is the way. I love it. Yeah, that's what it is. This is the way. <laughs> My dog looks like Grogu, so. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah. that's just, yeah. you've won. Yeah, I did win. <laughs> <That's> everything. <laughs> it's everything. OK, um, we'll get into a recovery configuration. Roger. And then we'll start coming up. Great. Oh, I'm, st I'm just in auto depth, so, and I'm going to so you can stay exactly where you are. Uh, you, let's see. So eventually, let's see, your heading, your heading is perfect for uh, recovery. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> I know, shucks. <laughs> Yeah, once, yeah, once I get around behind you, but right now I am not in a position where I can help you with that. Yeah, I'm going to go kind of under, around, behind, and through. Yeah, something like that. And I'm primarily going to use down cam to do that. And trying to stay below you a good distance and not get too disoriented. Because that is definitely a thing that happens when I do this, as I get a bit disoriented. And we don't really have the sonar, we can't really count on the sonar dyne right now, which is often a really nice tool for this. Uh, if we paused, we could reset the DVO. We're going to lose Doppler soon, probably, possibly. Anyway. Well, I guess not really soon, but it's OK. Um, Actually, I think the Sonardyne is has gotten solid. its act back it's together. It's the DVL that's really been yeah. smattering it's, about. It's all good. Um, I've got the cues I need, I think, from visual.
So yeah, I was looking for exiting down cam at the back of it and the two opposing headings. Yeah, exactly. I don't feel like I saw those two oil bubbles again. Okay, and once I pull on you, you can um, turn off auto head and we can proceed up. Okay, I'm coming up. Oh, pilots, are we in a good place for me to change back to USBL for our master yep, position? Yep, anything you want. Roger. Extreme power. So, I think I'll just see what my top speed is. And you can match it until we get to the flange. <laughs> I feel like you're just going to win. I feel like it's Very all, check. I feel like you've stacked this game. <laughs> <laughs> the pen is mightier No, the than pen the is mightier. <laughs> you totally, yeah, you mixed your metaphors. Uh, uh, beginner, beginner ascent bridge. Um, I liked it though. Yeah, it was, good. it was good. And I will advise on our recovery time. Thank you. <laughs> a bit like that yeah yeah totally this got real west side story real quick <laughs> are we doing blue water jokes again it happens it happens organically like, <laughs> you can't stop this can't stop won't stop uh. All right, I've been bribed. All good with blue water jokes yeah, You did now. it twice, and then you were like, can you do it? I was like, I'm going to get this. You did it right. <laughs> that wasn't my goal, but you're welcome. Oh, yeah, I meant to.
Hey, hold on there. Hold the phone there. Hold the phone there. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I take it back. Roger, Roger that. I. It's it's it still feels like our first dive in some ways, right? Working out the kinks. Did we? I think we, yes.